Father Peter Hears is an old friend of mine. We studied together in Thessaloniki, and we even had the same doctoral dissertation advisor. Father Peter is a man of many talents and involved in many endeavors. He started Divine Ascent Journal in the 1990s and currently owns and runs uh, Uncut Mountain Press. Father Peter has taught at Holy Trinity Seminary in Jordanville, New York, and most recently he was the headmaster of Three Hierarchs Academy in Florence, Arizona. I'm always glad for the opportunity to spend some time with Father Peter, and he was recently in town and graciously agreed to sit down with me for this interview. So without further ado, I hope you'll enjoy this episode from my interview with Father Peter Hears. So the whole debate or question between Catholicism and Orthodoxy, it seems to me, it needs to be reposited and reoriented. And there's a lot of, from the Orthodox perspective, there's a lot of things that are missing. Um, you know, mostly what people talk about in in terms of the differences between Catholicism and Orthodoxy are the are uh, the papacy uh, or uh, at one point it was the filioque, but that's increasingly not people. Are saying this is not an issue, which is not the case. Uh, it's it's definitely an issue because it's a part and parcel of a tr trinitarian theology and a Christology, ultimately that's very problematic. But if we go to some things that are not discussed, we'll see that there's a real major difference in our sociology, and that's the most important. That's what drives everything else. So in the Orthodox Church, um, we our vision is that salvation is. A process of purification, illumination, ending in theosis, deification, or glorification, depending on how you want to put it. And all of that whole theology or soteriology is based on our experience of God and has been ex exposited by such saints as St. Gregory Palamas and, and others. And integral to that, both to our vision of who Christ is, but also how we're saved in Christ, are the uncreated divine energies. And and this theology, this understanding, of, is really absent for the most part in much of post-schism Catholicism, especially in Aquinas and especially in Scholasticism. And so um, we have a huge problem with a teaching that understands that grace is created or that there is an absolute divine simplicity and there is no participation in this life in God, in the uncreated energies of God. And yet that is, for, for the most part, what has been uh, the accepted Roman position of the Roman Catholic Church through their great teacher, Thomas Aquinas. So I think that w I would say to an uh, interested Roman Catholic is, let's look into these issues, let's understand this major difference in our soteriology, and then we're going to, then we'll move on to the other ones that are, are less important, really, ultimately. Um, everything's going to come back to Christ and how we're saved in Christ. This is the center. Uh, and there's a massive difference in this area. So that's where I would start and try to help an interested Roman Catholic understand the differences and why they need to consider it and, and to begin the process of becoming Orthodox. So uh, I think most Protestants uh, who are sincere and are seeking, they, they want to have an intimate, personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And who doesn't? And this is actually the center of the Orthodox Church as well. But how does this go about? How does one obtain to that? Is it simply on the level of the emotions? Is it, is it on the level of the will? Is it on the level of the intellect, the rational intellect? It's, it's the whole man that needs to be saved. And only in the Orthodox Church does one encounter the whole Christ. Uh, only in the Orthodox Church is one, uh, is one uh, the salvation is, is, is addressed to and pertaining to and involving the whole man. And that means body and soul. It means the noose, which is the, high, the, the, the part of the soul, or the heart of man, the spirit of man, which communes with God. But it also is the body. And so we have, uh, to be in communion with Christ means to be in communion in body and soul, and that means the Eucharist. And so in the Orthodox Church, uh, we live the continuation of the Incarnation. We live the scandal of the particular uh, that is the Incarnation throughout the ages. Christ is the Church, 
And so in, only in, this, in his body uh, is one encountering Christ and truly having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Uh, too, many, too much of what passes as soteriology in the Protestant world is just really piecemeal and, and it's a denigrated, de um, degraded uh, uh, version of what Christ and the Apostles and the Holy Fathers brought to the world. And so if they're really interested in a personal encounter with Jesus Christ, then they're going to become Orthodox. They're going to enjoy it. And, and they're going to embrace the whole man and the whole uh, teaching of the Church. And that means the Church. I again hope you enjoyed this episode from my interview with Father Peter Hears. Please subscribe to get notified when new videos become available. And if you enjoy the content uh, on this channel, please consider uh, supporting it. There's a link to the support page on our website below this video. Thanks so much and have a great weekend and we'll see you soon.